Hi, this is Gary Fong, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to achieve perfect, spot-on accurate color when doing digital photography. A lot of times when you're looking at your images and you're disappointed with the color, the reason that is is because your camera is on auto white balance. With auto white balance, it's doing the best it can in complicated color situations to try to find out what is a neutral light with no cast or color, and it, it, it can make errors. So in the old days, we used to have a thing called a color meter and the color meter had a little dome on it and what you would do is you would walk over to where your subject was and click on it to measure the light that's falling on their face then use that value to neutralize out the color. Lately we've had some of these devices that are flat that appear to do the same thing but there's an issue with the flat ones is because they're flat they don't pick up the light temperature coming from around the room and that can also make errors because I might have a daylight window here a red wall and fluorescent lights above and we just want to find a nice accurate mid mid uh, color range also we had a thing called a gray card now this is a three three panel thing here but the gray card is 18 percent gray completely neutral and you would just uh, do a measurement measuring the light that's bouncing off this but, however, look what happens when I slightly change the angle of the card. The exposure and the color temperature slightly changes, and that can lead to an inaccurate reading. That's why the dome is so handy, because well, it comes with your light sphere, but secondly, it is half round, just like the color meter. And so, you're actually going to turn your camera into a color meter. It's a digital camera and it measures color. So the way we do that is step by step. Step one, turn your camera to manual focus. Your camera will never be able to focus with something like this in front of the lens. Step two, put the camera on program mode because you want to get a good exposure when you're taking your very first sample reference image. Step three, walk over to your subject and stand right next to your subject aim toward where you're going to be taking the picture and take your reference photo. That reference photo is going to be the image that you're going to tell the camera is the reference for neutral custom white balance. And then you're going to use that custom white balance setting that you just recorded for the photograph. Now so long as the lighting doesn't change, you will have spot on accurate color simply by putting your camera mode on custom white balance, having used the reference photo that you just took. We'll put this on and then we're going to hold the white balance button for one and a half seconds. One and a half, right there, okay. So then it says pre, and now I'm on this mode, which was automatic mode. Now, so you see basically that I've put this dome over it, and now I'm going to hit capture. And that is the color that is now hitting the back of this. I'm going to go to menu. See so that right here? White balance, pre, preset manual. And that's the picture that we just took. We'll select that one and say OK. And we're good to go. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for hundreds of videos on how to make your photography more professional and in the simplest way possible. Thank you.